in Hebrews chapter 11, 30, uh, probably about verse 32, I think it is. It actually talks about uh, the, it says of others, it goes through by faith, by faith, Abraham, by faith, Moses, and it goes through everybody. And then you go on through and you get about 32 and it talks, you know, and he says, I don't have time to talk about Jephthah and David and Samson and all that. And he, so that's, I think that's verse 32. And he says, all that's going on. But he mentions David. And he mentions David in the, in the chapter of faith. So we know that what David did, he did by faith. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, so what, if, if Moses, what Moses did, he did by faith. What Abraham did, he did by faith. Isn't that right? All these people, Enoch, I mean, all, they, by faith, right? You know what's strange about this is that in the church, yeah, you'll hear a lot about faith, but here's what you hear. They, here's, they will tell you <clears throat> that they did these miracles by the anointing. Isn't that right? That was it. It's the anointing. The anointing's doing this. The anointing's doing that. David's fixing to go and kill Goliath, and the anointing came upon him, and he went and killed Goliath, and the anointing's rising up because he's speaking it. And, and, but, but it's funny because that's never mentioned. But what is mentioned is faith. Isn't it funny? Now, understand, the anointing breaks the yoke, but the anointing is your position in Christ. You're being put into Christ. So you, the, the, the exploits of faith that you do they will be done because of the anointing, but not by the anointing. Does that make sense? So because of the anointing, is, it means because you've been put into the body, consecrated, anointed, into the body, into a position, because of that anointing, now you're free. But now by faith, isn't that what it says? By faith. Over and over again, by faith, not by the anointing. Right? The anointing is your position in Christ, but it's by faith. See, you're not set free. You're not, you don't do things by the anointing. You do things because of the anointing, but you do them by faith. Do you see the difference? This is important because many people are waiting for a feeling because they think the feeling is the anointing and they think that's when the power is there. And the power has nothing to do with feeling, right? The power has to do with trusting the word of God. And he said, you shall receive power after, after the Holy Ghost come upon you. So at that point, by faith, you step out. And by, when you step out by faith, faith causes it to happen. But it was because of your position in Christ that you get to step out in faith. Does that make sense? So if you take that last five minutes there and just study that. Study Hebrews 11. By faith, by faith, by faith. Right? You watch. The, the, the anointing is your position. The power is always there and the Spirit of the Lord comes upon you when by faith you step out. It always says when they did some. When Samson did some, the Spirit of the Lord came upon him. He shook himself, and the Spirit of the Lord came upon him. David, it said, the Spirit of the Lord came upon him from that day forward. Imagine that. Every day, the Spirit of the Lord came upon him, and he did great exploits by faith. Amen?